So now let's uh, cover the section that we have left off and we have a electricity issue so as for this you can see me in a very dark mood so no problem let's continue with the design so we have uh, come until that but we have not able to match that layout so you have rethink it how to do it so sometimes it may create a confusion to you uh, no matter how many times you use the tool before it can happen to anyone so so let me just click on add element and then i can go to layout and i will take a block okay and i will explain we know what is the use case of block we have used that in the before of the first section then i'll go to the um, uh, this and i will add a padding so we have a breathing space all over the place then i will click on add element again i will take a block inside that block okay and duplicate uh, the block inside that block two times so we have two blocks under one parent block to child block to be precise okay so now inside that uh, first child block we'll click on image and drag an image element inside the first block then i'll go to general click on select image and then we'll add that icon perfect add that icon perfect so now if i click this uh, this is the color code for it so we'll click on no first of all then i'll click the block and then i'll click on styling then i will give it background color black and in the right side we have few paragraphs so if i click these paragraphs it is 18 pixel same paragraphs lens just like this one maybe right now this one and i duplicate that and i will drag that inside the second block after the icon perfect now let's copy that from here so let's copy it then inside that block we have a white background so we'll go to that block and i will give it a white bg so let's give it a white background color just like that and then we need to give it some padding so let's give some padding just like this and for the paragraph let's remove the margin from here okay that's good so now we can click the parent block from the navigator and then we will make it display flex okay now it is looking perfect right and i will click on align items center but one of the thing issue is happening with align item center is uh, as you can see so let's not use align item center click on image and then for that image let's click on display flex let's make this align item center so this is not working uh let's make that display flex align items center okay now it is perfect item centers working perfectly but as you can see this is quite a large but it is not so let's click on it and if we see there is a padding uh, around that block so let's give those paddings something like 10 okay 10 and okay so what you can do click on the column and let's increase the padding from right side and left side as well let's give it 80 and 80 so if we see here uh, this is looking good but for the parent block let's click the parent block and let's increase some margin from top at least 15 okay now it looks quite similar right quite similar uh, maybe the left padding need to be increased so click on 15 and 15 okay 15 and 15 let's make it 15 as well okay so now uh, it should look good right it, it is it is looking good but sometimes as i said few things won't be 100 percent same with the page builder uh, some there is some limitation of course so as you can see this is how it is looking currently so we have this twice so let's click the uh, parent block of it and duplicate it few more times okay maybe now spacing is quite large so i'll click on that i'll click that block from the top okay let's reduce it and then duplicate it again and third yes third time so it is perfect maybe still uh, it is larger so now let's remove it 
entirely okay now remove it entirely make it zero okay this is looking perfect right now and there is a button so same button so i'll duplicate that button and drag that button under the block element and then we'll make this left a line something like this okay then uh, if i click the button we can reduce the margin top to something 10 then we have this block as well so let's click it and drag this under this and then if we want we can make it center align or something like this will be good mm, i think uh, the bottom margin needs to be removed okay okay good so now let's click on this uh, raw as you can see the image is not perfect so let's uh, just make the image something like this so as you can see this how it looks so if i click save and publish so let's see how this looks in actual page in live preview that will be good so if i click on preview uh, this will be password protected i had to find the password first of all so let's click on save mm, okay let's click on save and then go here and then need to go to online store go to preference and then uh, let's go to preference and then this is the password that we need to use okay uh, uh, click on page fly page builder let's go to pages and let's reopen the page again so click on pages so this is the page let's click on view live page it will ask for a password enter the password so again click on view live page and now you can see there is few extra section coming from our theme so don't worry so you can see it is looking good in the original version and this is also perfect but the issue here is this area the mm, yes this area there is this is not feeling uh, this is not feeling the image so that is the problem okay that is the problem yes square so let's give it a square okay so now it will perfect so now let's click this row make it center align okay and styling as you can see let's make it black manually black same goes with this let's make those manually black okay good okay let's make it black let's make it black let's make it black choose the black color so okay now let's click on save and publish because as you can see this look discolored okay when not choosing the black this looks something off so we are choosing the black color manually so click on it and now you can see the black colors will look good and this position also look good right and these are also looking perfect okay the image is also matched with the height okay uh, this section is also looking good so we have done yeah. until that part but one of the issue happened is image just got broken so if you click contain this issue will happen if you click cover this issue will happen custom if you click original this issue will happen so uh, so there is no spacing issue or nothing like that so let's remove those spacing from those top and bottom okay now i think uh, the height issue will be solved for the image okay 
now if we see how this looks in mobile so one of the things that you can see this headline completely changed that does not actually make sense that people will use a different headline only for mobile but as we saw the fundamentals we can hide certain elements for mobile and you can show certain element for desktop no issue with that you can do that same goes for this background color it can be completely changed only for mobile if you want to change it and icons you can design entire section only for mobile as you already discussed that part in the first section we covered how this actually works right so if you understand that this fundamental will work for any pages so if i go to mobile version of it okay this is how it looks so we need to work a lot of things here just remove the padding first of all from top and bottom and this looks quite weird okay because of the design layout so first of all we'll come to that block and we'll make this block okay and other than that this does not look good then we'll make the center a line we'll make this display flex and justify content center and okay and then this make needs to be center a line same goes for this block make it display block display block for this block make it display flex justify content center and let's click this block display flex and let's uh, display block and for this let's make display flex justify content center fantastic and now let's click the original raw let's click on display flex flex wrap wrap reverse okay now what will happen image will go fast uh, we already discussed about it so i know that you already know how these things actually works so let's remove the padding a bit so the space will be removed uh, and for this for this as you can see uh, there is no spacing showing for that and if i click the desktop version there is a few spacing before that section to the top section right so what we can do we can click that row and we can give it some more margin at least a 50 okay 50 will be enough and for desktop for laptop for mobile what will happen we can uh re re remain it same or we can decrease it to 20 and we can decrease the minus margin so there will be this there will be some white space before that okay now it looks perfect so let's make those center align as well center align as well so not exactly the same but something very similar because this is what we need to do and then it has uh broken into so we we'll need to make it one line okay just reducing the spacing so that will work perfectly for that so let's increase the spacing to 30 and 30 for mobile and for desktop it is 50 and 50 right so we already talked about it we already see how this works so perfectly working let's remove this margin a bit and for this yeah okay good good and good good okay good okay perfect so that is it that is it okay so for this we need to do the adjustment like before okay okay that's good this will be perfect for this let's click on style and it is already 30 pixel but for the row let's decrease let's decrease it to 20 okay so this is this is working perfectly now let's go to all device click save and publish okay so this this is also done with mobile responsive now let's move to the next section which is this one okay with some reviews and these reviews turn into slider only for mobile 
Uh, okay, so let's cover this. So we have covered very important sections and few of them left like one is this and then this is very simple section and this is the most important section like dynamic product area then some customer feedback type of things which is a video reviews will be play videos these are videos and then there is some copy paste things will be going on because few of the things we already done we just need to uh, uh, need to add them into our pages okay so uh, now let's begin uh, with the next part about adding the testimonial from our customers